Hey guys, um, I don't know if it's going to be of any interest to anybody or not, but uh, just uh, throwing together a little shed here at the end of the season out of a bunch of things I've had laying around for a long time and just finally uh, decided to do something with them. So anyways, I'm calling this project the, uh, the truck cap shed. Um, this right here was a big skid that a piece of equipment came in um, and this old truck cap I've had for a very long time um, went and drug it out of the edge of the woods and gave it a wash job the other day and turns out it is almost a perfect dimensions to be the roof for on this so I decided to go ahead and build a little mini shed out of this. I think we may even use this as um, a starter house or a greenhouse, if you will, um, because of all the windows in the truck cap. I think we're going to get a lot of natural light in there. I think it's going to produce a lot of its own heat because of the dark colored cap. And, uh, you know, if it fails, um, I guess my grandkids will just have a, a playhouse. So, all right. Um, I'm gonna get busy on this. I gotta cut the. I gotta cut two inches off of uh, each end of this floor. And uh, once I do that, then I have some treated skids I'm gonna put underneath this to uh, get it up off the ground because this is just all uh, uh, kiln dried wood and it's actually set out in the weather for a little bit now. So uh, I need to do something with it, if, or it's not gonna be good for anything. So. I'll bring you some updates as I go. Alright guys, just wanted to give you a little update here. Um, just got everything put away, went in, grabbed a shower. We've got a couple of things we got to go to this afternoon, so we're getting ready to take off and go do that. But I uh, wanted to see, let you have a little look at where I, how I made out so far here this morning. So, got the, uh, got the sides framed up. Got the truck cap sitting up there. Um, that turned out to be a bit of a chore. Those fiberglass tops are pretty heavy, so I uh, I had this that I was storing the kayaks on last winter, and uh, I thought, you know what, that's going to give me the extra lift that I couldn't quite reach high enough with the forks on the on the loader on the tractor. So that gave me that extra distance to be able to put that up there and set it on top. Uh, Got this uh, piece of uh, tinted plexiglass here that I've had stored behind uh, the garage for a while. Uh, I can't even remember where it came from or who gave it to me, but that is going to enclose this opening right here because I do not have the original uh, lift gate for on the back of this. I wish I did, but I don't. So, anyways, yep, walls are framed up. Um, got the treated uh, 4x4 skids underneath of it and uh, truck cap is securely mounted so now I just have to uh, get the other end closed in and uh, start putting the sheeting on it um, so a lot of reclaimed stuff happening here the skid uh, that I mentioned before a uh, piece of equipment came on it the old truck cap um, that really isn't worth much of anything but uh, and then all the uh, all the sheeting that's going to go on the sides is um, lumber that uh, that I get uh, that's being thrown out at places. So, uh, anyways, not a lot of cost going into this, and we still don't have a a real good idea yet what we're going to use it for. But it can always use an extra storage uh, storage space, and you know, if nothing else, maybe. Uh, if the best thing that comes out of this, maybe the grand granddaughters will uh, end up having a uh, a new little playhouse to uh, they might think is kind of cool. So, anyways, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted as uh, as the project continues. Hey, just bringing you another update on the uh, truck cap shed. Um, making out pretty good here. I'll uh, give you a look. So, um, got it sitting on treated skids, started putting some of the boards on the side, 
close the end of the cap in here with a piece of uh, tinted plexiglass that I had. Fits right up in a, in a track. And um, obviously you get the, the doorway here. Um, had another uh, old, old wooden door uh, up in the attic, as a matter of fact, it was brought down and uh, already have it cut to size, repurposing it for that. And uh, here's some of this uh, lumber I was telling you about. These are called top frames, or that's what we call them anyways. They go on the top of pallet, uh, pallets of uh, product. Uh, and uh, when, when they have something wrong with them, like this one has a, a crack in this board, they can't use those anymore because that can break in the machine. So if I knock these plates off, um, you can see that I end up with three nice boards, which I was stacking right over there. And so I'll work on that for a little bit till I get some boards, and then when I get a few, then I come over here and, uh, and cut them to length on my uh, on the saw. And then um, because they're so different sizes and widths, and because they're just really not straight, I've been running them all through the uh, through the table saw. So. Uh, Anyways, just uh, a little update here, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of repurposing going on. I, I use these, I, I have stacks and stacks of these uh, top frames, and uh, they're just they're just nice to make stuff with. Uh, um, I did away with a fenced-in wall on my uh, chicken pen, and uh, give you a little shot of that. Um, and that's what I used them with to close that wall in with. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, all about trying to uh, make make use of what I have and keep the cost down. So we'll uh, we'll bring you another another update as the project progresses. All right, just wanted to give everybody an update on uh, how the shed's going. So um, here's what I've got done since I uh, last updated you. Um, finally, got all the uh, got all the boards cut and put on. Got the door mounted. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. It was a lot of work. Um, I don't know if I explained it before or not, but all this wood is coming from these pieces right here. Um, so you got to uh, take these metal clips off of the corners, and uh, you know you can you can salvage a lot of good wood out of these, as you can see. It's, uh, turned out pretty nice. So, um, anyways, there's some cracks and blemishes different places. You can see the there's a hole right there and so we were wondering, you know, what's going to be our best bet for sealing this thing up against the elements. A um, little shot inside here. I mean, this is going to make a fabulous little workspace to be able to pot plants and um, build shelves up above here so that um, you know I can start things in the spring of the year use this as a, as a greenhouse type situation um, we haven't really fully figured out how we're going to do the inside I've been thinking about insulating the floor and the walls and then and then sheeting them so that we can put a little heater in here um, I don't know it just hasn't completely evolved yet but um, the only thing I really got left to do here is I need to put another door jam down this side um, and then uh, anyways I just got back from getting what I decided to put on the outside of this uh, seemed to be my best option maybe not price wise but uh, longevity and against the elements uh, I actually found a guy that had sheets of fiberglass yeah so this is 3 sixteenths and um, I suppose it could be painted or whatever. I wasn't being picky with the color. Um, so this fiberglass sheeting is what's going to go over the top of the wood. And, uh, you know, basically I'm never going to have to do anything to it. I'm going to put it on with self-tapping like uh, uh, roofing screws with the rubber washers and it ought to seal it up really good. There'll be a few seams that I'll need to caulk. Um, and while I was there, I made a discovery that he actually had some angle material out of this fiberglass and so I bought four of those off of them 
to uh, cover my corner seams with just to uh, trim it up and make it look a little bit better so excited to get this put on and get it closed up from the uh, from the elements uh, so I'm going to keep plugging away at it a little here and a little there and uh, uh, as it evolves I'll bring you some uh, I'll bring you a little more footage hey everyone um, just bringing you another little update here on the uh, on the shed I've been working on um, got it about as far as I'm going to go for right now uh, got to go get the ground leveled where we're going to move it to and uh, get it set there running out of time for the season but uh, I think it turned out pretty good so far. Uh, a lot of work to do to the inside, a little bit of work to do to the outside yet, but here's what I got. So, got all the fiberglass sheeting put on, got the fiberglass corners put on, uh, added a little overhang here above the door. Um, I got to uh, put caulking on all the seams. I'm just going to use some uh, clear silicone to seal the seams up, but uh, I think it's going to make it pretty darn weatherproof. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, with that truck cap being black, um, man, does it get hot in there. So, uh, right now I'm doing a little looking around and I'm actually trying to find a couple little small crank out windows that uh, I can install to. Uh, cool things down in there a little bit on super hot days but um, like I said the inside haven't really done anything with it uh, one of the larger pieces of fiberglass I had left I'm thinking about putting a little workstation here at the end and using that for a top but uh, I'm also thinking about picking up some uh, some insulation board and insulating in between all the studs uh, as well as the floor and uh, since we plan on putting a little bit of heat in this in the winter time to try and uh, carry some of our plants over um, and uh, get a little jump start on growing maybe growing stuff in the spring of the year when it's still so cold out but uh, yeah pretty pleased with how this turned out and uh, I mean for using so many things that were just being repurposed um, pretty happy so far so um, on that note I'm probably gonna end this video and uh, I'll bring you uh, I'll bring you some updates on uh, what we decided to do with uh, windows the interior and so on so anyways uh, that's it for now